welcome to Washington DC, the DC vlog. I am so happy to be back and actually filming videos again for YouTube. I am here in DC for the next six days. I initially had planned this trip because my school requires us to come on campus for on-campus intensives a few times a year. And we always book an Airbnb with some school friends and just hunker down for the week of classes. But since I recently switched concentrations within my program, I don't actually need to be here for class, but I already paid for the trip. So I figured why not just go ahead and come and hang out in DC for a week. So that's what I'm doing here. I will film a whole separate video about my decision to drop midwifery from my concentration within grad school and focus just on women's health and pee. I might have already uploaded that, who knows, but that is coming up for sure. I might film it tomorrow, actually. I'm in an online nurse practitioner program, so we see each other over Zoom every single week. We text pretty much every day. I hop on phone calls with them all the time. They're some really sweet friends of mine, and I'm just so pumped to actually get to hang out with them in person. I think I'm gonna spend my days, honestly, just exploring the Georgetown area. I think I'll go to some coffee shops, go window shopping, walk around, work out grocery shopping, those kinds of things. And then my future sister-in-law actually lives here with her husband. And so I'm gonna hang out with her a little bit this week. And then also Justin is gonna come up on Friday and we're gonna spend time with them as well this weekend and see some of his old college friends. So it'll be full, but hopefully relaxing as well. So yeah, I'm excited. It has been a really heavy season of engagement that I'm sure we will get into later in a future video. We're just kind of in the thick of it right now, emotionally and spiritually. So if y'all can be praying for us, that would be great. We're doing well, just it's a heavy, a heavy time that no one really prepares you for the hard parts of engagement. Yeah, so that's all I'll say for now, but I'm looking forward to just like a lighthearted week, just seeing friends and family and hanging out and exploring a city that I really love. I'm pumped to take you guys on this week adventure with me. It's gonna be a partial solo trip basically and partial hanging out with friends and Justin. So yeah, let's go to dinner. Okay, this is my outfit for tonight to go hang out with friends. Just a little pink top and some jean shorts that are honestly a little bit too big for me. I need to find some good denim shorts, even though it is going to be fall pretty soon, but in North Carolina, it is hot forever and ever. So if you have good denim short recommendations, let me know. But I'll do this and then some sandals, probably gold or black, and then just some little simple flower earrings. And of course my engagement ring. I cannot wait to tell you all that story. It's going to be so good. Maybe you've already seen it. I don't know the order of videos I'm going to do. We'll see, but crazy, 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 crazy. Before I forget, let me show you guys the little Airbnb that we're staying at. It's really just a studio apartment. All of our stuff is everywhere, so forgive me. But we have the bathroom back there, kitchen area, which is so nice. And then we have our bed. This is my friend Madison and I staying here. Nice big windows, TV, and a little work area. And we have a really nice view of well, really just the apartment complex, but you have lots of natural sunlight, so great for videos and seeing the sunset, I guess. Yeah, I think it's pretty, it's nice. Morning guys, it is the next day and last night was so much fun. I met up with my school friends for dinner and we got burgers, fries, and then went to Levon or Levain Bakery, whatever it's called, to get the chocolate chip cookies. And then they fooled me so well and planned a engagement party in our hotel room, apartment, whatever this is. And I had no idea. They did such a good job. It was the sweetest thing ever. Two of my friends pretended to be sick and we're like, oh, we have to go back to the apartment now because of our stomachs feel bad. We'll catch up with y'all later. And of course they were just setting up for the little party. And then I was with our other friends and we just went and got desserts and went walking around. I had no idea this was happening. 
it's also been like six weeks since we got engaged and so I'm not really thinking about engagement party stuff because we've already had a couple celebrations and it was just so sweet they had custom made cookies that my friend Madison got from her friend back in Tennessee and a little like backdrop and champagne and it was so sweet they also had this little like bride crown thing and a flower crown it was so thoughtful and it just made me feel so loved after a rough couple of weeks just with school and life wow it was just so sweet and yeah so anyways today is tuesday i took a very slow morning just to sleep in relax have a quiet time slowly get ready kind of thing it's about noon and i still haven't left i had a little snack but i need to go hunt down some coffee and oh no <gasps> broken nail wait this is tragic anyways if you guys ever feel guilty when you're on vacation and you're just like not in the mood to go be active and explore and all of that and you feel like maybe you're wasting your time that you're on this trip and so i kind of feel a little bit like that but the fact that i've spent a lot of time in dc over the years i don't feel as bad about it because i've done the exploring i've done the sightseeing stuff Justin's coming in this weekend and we're gonna do some of that touristy stuff. So I'm trying to tell myself that it is okay to take a chill day, to sleep in, relax, do things that I would do at home just in a different city and that that is perfectly okay. And if I don't feel like exploring, that's fine. So trying to be more intuitive and just like listening to what my brain needs. So that's what our plan is today. I just have on workout clothes and then <laughs> this lovely nail. So we are gonna go find some coffee and go to Trader Joe's. And yeah, I'll see if I can get some fun clips of the Georgetown area and whatever I find myself doing today. Let's go. Jared at Trader Joe's. Um, I don't know what location this is. It's the Georgetown Trader Joe's location. He was so kind checking me out and he complimented my nails and my engagement ring, which I just thought was very sweet, especially for a guy to notice that. Um, I almost mentioned how this happened, but alas, I think we'll try to find a nail salon at some point this week and go get it fixed because yes, I care that much about my nails. I don't want to be spending the next two weeks or so looking from Trader Joe's and I figured I would do one of those Trader Joe's hauls like a good youtuber and show you everything I got also these are the cookies from last night they are so cute look E and J rings and these little dresses Ugh. thank you Madison okay so I got some cinnamon raisin bagels and peanut butter. They were out of my favorite no stir creamy peanut butter. I hate stirring the oil back in peanut butter. It's just one of my pet peeves. I don't like it. <laughs> Even though I feel like this is probably healthier because it doesn't have preservatives and stuff that keep it to where it's already stirred for you, but they were completely out because the world knows that that stuff is great, but this looked good too. Got lots of snacks for the week for me and my friends. So these baked cheese crunchies. I like a less flavorful Cheeto. They don't taste as artificial and they're so good. These Takis, oh my word, I'm obsessed. My friend Madeline introduced them to me a couple years ago on a road trip in Michigan and I swear these are amazing. But some of them will have all this spice concentrated in one little bite and it will get you. So they are definitely very hot. Peanut butter pretzels. I love these the little nuggets. They're just so fun, very tasty. Banana chips, and then of course chomps, which I haven't had in a while, and I'm super excited to eat. I might have one of those now. Apples, strawberries for some produce. Plain Greek yogurt. I love just plain whole milk Greek yogurt because you get all the protein, and I want full fat dairy as well because fertility. And then I've got some lunch items, just so I'm not eating out every single meal. I'm trying to only eat out like one meal a day while I'm here just because eating out is so expensive. 
and we've been doing a lot of that lately so trying to do like breakfast and lunches here and then dinner out most nights some whole milk because madison and i are both adult milk drinkers shout out to adult milk drinkers because you are the real deal a kombucha because i love them right now and then these are the best candies ever and last but not least i got some sour jelly beans for my friend noel and for justin because they both love them okay so update i just started filming the where i've been slash getting engaged slash dropping the free video and my camera just died so i'm gonna take that as a sign that it's time to go work out <laughs> and i might vlog a little bit on my phone while i'm there it's just a gym that comes with the place that we're staying it's like an access to this gym i don't know what it's gonna be like but we will see how it goes and then we'll come back and finish filming that video and then i don't know eat a snack shower get cleaned up chill and then i am going to be catching up with one of my friends from nashville over the phone i think i'm gonna go walk along the georgetown waterfront i think it's the potomac river i'm pretty sure and then i'm gonna get dinner with my friend tonight stopped filming after working out yesterday just because I ran some errands and then got ready and caught up with a friend and then got dinner with a friend who lives in DC and just didn't take any clips because yeah was doing other stuff so we're gonna pick back up the vlog today I am gonna have another slow morning and then walk around Georgetown and then go meet my future sister-in-law for lunch which will be super fun and then my friends who are doing school stuff have a half day today so we might go hang out in the afternoon I might work out again some of them are going to get massages and I was gonna go join them but of course they don't have any open slots for when they're going anymore which I am taking as a sign that I shouldn't be spending that money on a massage. So <laughs> I might go work out while they get massages and then go get coffee with my friend Elena or go for a walk or something. And then tonight we have reservations at an Italian restaurant. So I think that will be fun. And I will try to take y'all along for some of that. super fun girls night with girl dinner as everyone's seen that trend going around but we had a very hearty good girl dinner yeah went to bed slept a ton it's actually almost 1 30 right now p.m i slept in until about 11 and i've just 
just had a really slow morning, so I just got dressed and I'm about to go call my mom and catch up with her. I think I'm gonna pack a lunch with me. It's like a Trader Joe's sandwich that I picked up earlier this week and go walk along the waterfront while I talk to her and bring a book, maybe a journal and kind of hang out. Okay, and then I actually booked a boat canal tour thing here in Georgetown because I saw it yesterday and it looked so fun. So that's at four o'clock. I think after that, I'm gonna go work out and then we're just having a chill night in since we've been eating out so much. So I'll probably eat more of my Trader Joe's stuff. And yeah, maybe watch a movie, read, kind of hang out. Tomorrow, Justin gets into town and I'm also hanging out with my friend during the day. Um, at the National Gallery of Art. We're gonna go work from home there. So that'll be more like getting into DC, into the touristy things. I've really just been at Georgetown the whole time, which honestly has been really nice. I've already done all the touristy DC stuff, so I don't really feel the pressure to, to go explore on my own. So yeah, it's been really nice. But let's go see Georgetown for a couple hours. <laughs> from that boat ride that I hopefully inserted some clips of earlier. I can put some pictures up here too. It was so lovely. It was only about an hour long, but we got to learn about the history of the C&O Canal, which is the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, it was just super relaxing and there were lots of families and couples on board and I just was chilling by myself with my matcha latte and snacks and just taking it all in. I just posted a little reel on Instagram about slowing down and being on a boat and just by water always is very calming to me and brought just a sense of rest. So you can go check that out on my Instagram. But right now I'm gonna go to the gym and get a workout in and then come back and just eat dinner here and have a chill night in and maybe read, journal, maybe edit some YouTube stuff. Yeah, or watch a movie, we'll see. So it is the next day. I honestly can't remember where we left off yesterday, but it is the afternoon of Friday and I'm actually at the National Mall. I don't know if you can tell right now, but I'm meeting my friend to do a little work from home date at the National Gallery of Art. And I am so proud of myself because I've just successfully found parking on Constitution Avenue, which is on the National Mall. And it was a whole ordeal trying to parallel park in Washington, DC. So. Thumbs up because we did that, but we're gonna go find the National Gallery of Art and yeah, do some computer work. I'm working on our wedding website today and answering emails about wedding and school stuff as we wrap up the semester with like course evals. And then I might walk around some of the exhibits and maybe get a coffee or something fun like that. Let's go. I'm also bringing these for my friend because she's obsessed with them. I brought one bag for her and one for Justin because I'm gonna go pick them up from the airport after this little work from home date.